But pussy are nothing, bro. We start learning that, man. Pussy is nothing. Like it's the best, one of the best things on earth, bro. I'm gonna see some man kill themselves over a pussy and shit like that. I'm never do that. I'm never run on a girl like that. Just for some pussy. And dead over pussy, I'm mad. If you dead over pussy. Stop dying over pussy. You dig? You know what? I'm gonna turn this into a fucking Instagram move, bang. Guys, well, me personally right now, I'm doing something personal. I personally right now trying to talk to a girl who don't want to talk to me. Now, hear me out. I don't know the full story, so they can't judge me. But I'm just going to give you an example. I'm all about positivity. I'm like when people laugh. I get negative shit. That makes my spirit get real angry. And I like to know that my spirit up it with a person whom I did so high with before. So that's why I really try to like mend stuff between me and the girl. You dig? But the girl, she said what she was supposed to be telling me months ago. And I feel better about myself because you put me in a position where I feel like I don't have to be fucking, have to be trying to like see what's gonna go on when there was no shit to be happening in any ways. You dig what I'm saying? So that's what I'm fucking glad about by the end of the day. But when we look on where we had where what we had and where we was going, bro, and for the shit so fucking high and then just fall like that, that don't make no fucking sense, bro. You dig? So that's why I did a try for like really men stuff in a way where I'm saying, yo, listen, I don't mean you know about it because it's the worst thing when another person stop linking and then when it becomes so toxic, like when it was so loving and caring for each other, how the fuck y'all get so toxic? For what reason? You dig? And giving out a teaser, me and all of my ex them up it to you. Uh, any girl who consider me as them ex, we up it to you, dig? Never have a bad relationship, except Chinese. But yeah, you know what I mean? So there's a big difference between trying to mend something with somebody. Because me not give a fuck if a person just don't want to talk to me, they just really don't want to talk to me. But because me know the full story, it's a big difference. And fellas, bro, stop, don't chase women, dog. Up your standards. I'm going to teach you a funny thing about social media. When they do more about when they do more of you and less of what people like you for, you're gonna feel better in yourself because anybody who, who appreciate you, they're gonna appreciate you for you. They're gonna they're gonna love what you doing. So that's why me, you will see, okay, you will see my views them go up, you will see my views them go down. A lot of people will join me Instagram live just to see the amount of people that's on them for see if I go chat about some mix up or stuff like that. I have something that entertaining to them, them decrease or them leave and stuff like that. Stuff like that don't bother me because I'm doing this thing for me. And what I'm doing for me is influencing and helping people out there go through depression, sadness, whatever the fuck them going through. That's why with me, if one person comment or one person like or one person view, I feel up it in myself because I change somebody's life. And that's why I keep teaching people about your audio with the social media. Like me personally right now, me not in the biggest, greatest position, but me have enough power where me can actually talk and people listen. You dig? And me very confident about myself. I'm sure, God. Oh, I mean, so. That's just the thing. I'll patch your switch up. Yeah, so. Me definitely, yeah, me actually turn this into an Instagram mukbang. This is my first Instagram mukbang. But yeah. You know what I mean? Like, love yourself, like people. Top Nation. I mean, we have a lot of young fans out here, too. If I reach this far in the video, love your fucking self first. Put you first. If you don't love yourself, you can't love nobody else. It just doesn't make sense. That's why a lot of people hate. Because a lot of people have what they don't have. When a person have what you don't have, that's a fucking reason to hate. You, you're gonna be like, why the fuck him have that and I don't got it? You dig? Like, why the fuck he got that shit? I don't got that. Why him got it? I ain't got it. So, me got a talent for make people laugh and create content. A lot of niggas don't have that. So, them hate on you. They'll call you Batman or Madicone. I learned a word today. Madicone. That means Batman in Spanish. They'll say all type of shit. You dig? But by the end of the day, when you love yourself and you're true to who you are, 
you're going to always eliminate the fake around you and you're going to pull a lot of real people towards you. You dig? That includes whether people who support you on social media who don't even know you or you don't know. That includes family members. That includes um, fucking neighbors. That includes strangers out here in the street. You'll fucking meet a person out of nowhere and then just start telling them business because they feel your energy. You dig? They feel your real fucking energy. And that's the thing about being real and love your fucking self. You dig? The more real you be with people, the more up it here is. For example, up it here, Dev. Miss here, number Up it here. For example, let me give you an example. You got alkaline, you got Eminem. You can use Vibes Cartel too. Because Vibes Cartel is a, I'm a, I'm a legend. Da. I'm like the messy of dancer. You can use me. I don't follow a soul. I don't follow nobody for hype or nothing like that. It's just to show that what I'm doing, people fuck with it naturally. I don't do shit to gain validation and likes to feel better about myself. Because there's a lot of people out there that need to be uplifted by something stupid. And when you're a person who God put on earth to create shit to make people feel okay or make people laugh or something like that and stop feeling sad or depressed that is a big fucking burden on your shoulder especially when people out there don't want to see you reach at a certain level based off what you're doing it's not easy you dig so that's why sometimes you know you see me go up and down up and down moody even on social media and shit like that because it take a lot to do social media and it take a lot to do videos and shit like that because by the end of the day you are trying to fucking create shit just to make people laugh and when you're true to yourself and you love your fucking self it's not gonna be easy to be loved because you know why a lot of people are not true to their selves so if a man not true to for himself him cannot love another man. Him can't rate the next person. You dig? Him can't. He, 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 she or him just cannot rate her because them not find who them truly is. And until they know who you truly is, a next man life can't bother you. So if you live your fucking life and the next person live their life, them life just cannot bother you. You dig what I'm saying? Because you and yourself uppity, and you just gonna attract real people around you. As I say, me go up on my live a lot of times. I don't beg nobody to come here. Me just go live because me want to go live. Who want they here? They here. Them there are people who just want to see me. Either want to see me. Either them respect my content. Either they respect what me do. Either them like the fuck what me do. You have girls who just like to see me dancing on my underpants. You have people who like to say, like what me say, me Jesus. You dig? So it's just a big like thing where people just like. Interested and, and me and my me not give a fuck man I, like oh I listen listen like me not beg nobody you're not begging nobody and that's another thing don't feel like you need to like be begging people to, to be a part of what you're doing make people naturally gravitate to what you do in life you dig don't don't run down shit it will never work out art half of the girl them who shake them body on Instagram alone right Shit them ass on Instagram. Make them stop shit them ass on day and be like, hey, I just made a YouTube channel talking about myself and what I love to do other than shaking my ass. Shaking ass video get one million views. That video where she just won a couple subscribers, 10 views. No, she in her mindset, no, she gonna start be like, oh, fuck. I not get the views I used to get. I just continue shaking my ass because the validation is so much more than appreciation. Nobody want to appreciate me, so look, hold on, let me go search for validation and keep getting more validation until I see that the validation don't worth it because you're going to fall into depression because these motherfuckers don't fuck with you. They just want to see your ass shake. You dig? Simple as that. Same thing with me. I'm not searching for like a bunch of people I work towards it like I know my work is uppity enough to get the views like, that's what I do but I not going to feel like say yo I need to get validated by people to feel better about myself you dig all the fuck I'm, for doing, I'm too slimy for that shit bruv you dig I can't do that 
I'm going to do that. Tell the truth. How the fuck can I try to validate myself based off what people like about me? You're not going to be happy. And that's like a lot of shit people go through. You just have to be smart, bro. You dig? I'm going to download this video. I'm going to put it on my YouTube. I like this. This shit crazy. This shit opposite. I like this. I put a clip on my Instagram and then put a, put the rest on my YouTube, the whole like on my YouTube. It's part of sleep by the way, but that's what I'm giving you guys for the rest of the day. I'm not giving you nothing more. You know what I mean? I'm not giving you too much. I'm not giving you a little thing. I mean, right now, I work towards getting my own place. I work towards finding my own little place. I dig on myself. I mean, it will never be easy, but I work towards it. And me creating content and stuff like that, it helps me out a lot. You dig? That's about it. Me, Jesus! What a pity, but yeah. Yeah, bro, you just have to be smart, man. Just love yourself. Me, me love myself. I care what people think about me. Me love me. For me. For example, this dude come on the live. Me, Jesus! He naturally do that himself. He wanted to say me, Jesus. Me never did a beggar and say, Yo! Please, when you come send me, Jesus, let me feel good. What? Fuck me going to do that for? If you rate me, rate me. Is it matter? I'm put up this video up on my YouTube. I like this video. I actually teach a lot of stuff today. This is my first time actually sitting down and I really like giving like a little lesson. I feel uppity about it. I feel like more shit though. Hey man, go home and check up the money first. But yo, yeah, um, I'm just dubbing yourself, bro. That's all I'm after, though. Love yourself. You know what's funny? I know, why, I know why I'm in a bus set, you know. I didn't say bus because I'm out there, you know, but I know why I'm not like fully out there. I'm in a mix up. And when they do something where you love to do for you, because I know what that the person they want to see, it's not going easy to grow. Because people want to see stuff what them like. They want to see stuff what you like half the time. And in order for you to get over that, stop seeking validation. Stop feeling bad if you put up a video and you get 10 views. So what? That fucking 10 people. Who find the time to just go by your video just for view it? Appreciate the ten people. I do that all the time. Stop searching for validation. You put up a picture, you get sixteen likes. Okay, that sixteen fucking individual who literally look for your picture and not even bots. I wanted to just tap like. Them actually interested in what you put. Find some way how you can actually turn that 16 people into like a business. And that's what me will really learn. That's what me I learn for myself too. I learn how to make money off of my people them. If they're interested in my products, in my mer merchandise and shit like that. I learn how to flip me. Like me I learn it like no while me I talk, me I teach myself too. You dig? Cause me not perfect. I'm not even close to perfect. I'm shot God do. But definitely gonna save this video. I'll put it up on the YouTube. I'm gonna call it Jamaican spicy party moot bang. No, I'll drop it to the door. I drop it next week. 
Tom Nation. If you reach this far in the video, like, comment, share, subscribe. You already know. You already know the other thing. You dig? What up, Pity? I mean, I appreciate all the real people them towards me out there. I, mean, I appreciate everybody. I love everybody. Let's just spread love. Spread love and positivity and uplifting vibes. I dig. Yes, man. Bless up on yourself. Me, Jesus.